when I play high pop servers as a solo, I don't want to be wasting my time fumbling with complicated base designs. And I doubt you do either. Whether it's the security of a bunker or a massive compound base, often it can be a lot more work than it's worth, and it just turns me into a farm bot. So today's build is something designed to be built quickly and easily. Starting off from a compact and incredibly useful one by one, we quickly expand into a secure but incredibly low cost base. One that, before even honeycombing, has everything separated in a way that makes it no easy job for a raider. And once honeycombed, this beauty can withstand more than enough to make most raiders think twice. Of course, let's not waste any more time talking about it and let's jump into the build. If you're playing on a busy server, you know you can't be fumbling around trying to get that starter base down. Taking too long is a very good way to get yourself killed and make you have to start over. For that reason, you need something that you can slap down before getting killed. And that's why I like this one by one starter. Without getting too complicated, you get a good amount of security. And while this doesn't offer the normal security of these two single door airlock, the double door is going to make things a lot easier for later. Coming back here, we're going to slap our TC just down in the corner here giving us plenty of room to slap another box right here, lock both of these up in case things go wrong, and you've got plenty of room for even a couple bags and a workbench here. While this is designed as a solo base, there is definitely enough room for a duo in here if that's how you're rolling it. However, if you are running solo, it's going to make things a lot easier and give you room for a furnace and even a campfire. Of course, you don't really want to be stuck in a one by one for too long. So once you have the materials available, you're going to want to start expanding. Expanding this one by one is fairly simple, but we do need to have two more doors available. One for here and one for here. Placing your wall here, you can have it facing outwards and turn it around later when you upgrade it again. However, because I am going to be expanding to the rest of the base, I'm going to build it like this. Additionally, a second door or third doorway can go here, and that's going to add for our airlock in this area. Ultimately, this last door can be a double door if you want that little bit of extra mobility, as the single door doesn't really add too much, it's just a little cheaper. With this now acting as our front door, we got to work on the rest of the base. We're going to place a triangle here to the left of the entrance and that's going to get closed up as our furnace room and then we're going to place two squares and a triangle here. This last triangle is going to act as part of our honeycomb here and it's going to be a locker spot. Closing up this really doesn't cost too much more to get this expansion done but it gives us a lot more utility in the base. Before going too much further here, we're going to add a half wall temporarily, a shelf here temporarily, and we're going to come back into our TC room. It's at this point we're going to need to do a little bit of remodeling here, and we're going to pick some things up. Closing this, we're going to add the shelf piece connecting to the temporary one over there. And we've got room for a couple back boxes here, but honestly that gets a little more complicated. Instead, we're going to come up here grab ourselves our large box and place the first one right here alternatively we also need to place one here and the order depends on what you're more comfortable with getting them both down can be fairly difficult and it might be worth your while to get rid of the door and lock of course with the garage door these kind of things get a lot easier but it can still take a little bit of fiddling Coming down here, we are going to actually block off this area, placing a box right here. If this box is tight enough against the wall, you should have just enough room for it. With that place, you do have an option of adding a small box here and down here. Those boxes offering a little bit more storage in the past, but now with the box update, a single small box can be quite a lot of storage. However, without the garage door up yet, these can actually just get in the way more than anything else, as you might not be able to place the door back on. Additionally, if you want to get a campfire here, I believe you have to place it before you place the final box, because campfires do work a little weird with the hitboxes, or you can simply place the box in the other orientation. 
that with our TC room done for now, we can come back out to the bulk of the base that we've created over here, destroying these shelves here. And of course, we've got a little bit of openness. Now over here, you have a few options, but I like to use this area back here as my furnace room, placing the first furnace back in the corner. And then you're gonna wanna jump on the furnace to place it as tight as possible to each other. Doing it this way as I've done is gonna give you enough room to place your window here. Now you can go with a double door or a single door instead, but the window offers a good amount of security, especially once we've added our shelf here. Right here, we're gonna create a temporary half wall and create ourselves a shelf. You're gonna to wanna to upgrade this shelf to at least stone to make it a lot harder for somebody raiding from the outside to get into this section. In this way, our furnace actually gets to operate as honeycomb for us as well, and you can kinda of choose which way you'd rather it face. If you're more worried about somebody mining in to get your materials, have it face outwards towards the inside of your base. If you're more worried about somebody raiding from the outside in, have that facing outwards, and this will act as honeycomb, making it a lot harder to get into this loot room. Starting off with the loot room down here, we're gonna place a box in this back corner, making sure to go through that back wall to get that straight line up, and placing it all the way to the right. Then doing the same thing right here. Coming up here, unfortunately we can't replicate that pattern as this window will slightly get in the way, so instead we are going to place our first box here and a second box would go here. Additionally, we can place a small box in the back here as well as a couple more and I would avoid placing them directly here instead opting for this area. Right here, we're going to place a double door frame and this is going to give us nice and easy access to all of the possible furnaces we might need to get to without really having any issues. I'd avoid placing any boxes besides maybe right here, as you still want to have this little slit to crawl through. Of course, a small box like this can very much get in the way when you go to place your doors, as well as this large box up here. Another reason garage doors placed early can come in handy. While not at all necessary, having a garage door is gonna make things a lot easier because you can open that garage door, get the item placed, and not have to worry about that slight overlap. As long as you have the garage door open to the right direction, it's gonna completely cover up any boxes inside. Now coming over here, we're doing pretty much the same as the furnace, except we're placing our locker kit. Having a quick change locker kit really close to that front door exit is incredibly important to me. I will almost always put my bed or bag right near that locker, so that if I die near my base, I can quickly grab a kit and run outside and recover it. Now coming over here, we will place our tier two and eventually our tier three. With your tier three coming in, you're gonna place it against both this wall here and the back wall here. And of course, don't forget, you can place a box underneath the tier three. Now, if you prefer, you can center it a little more, but this tier three going here actually serves more than one purpose. By placing that tier three there, it means that if someone raids through here, they're gonna have extra hard time getting through meaning we don't really have to worry about honeycombing this area, especially early on in the wipe. With that said, our main points of honeycomb are gonna be this square here and this square over here, both of which not taking much to honeycomb and seal up and making it significantly harder for a raider to get into any of our loot. While I believe with a base design like this, it would not be hard for you to get through those first couple days without even having to add the honeycomb, it definitely can be useful to add it as it's gonna make things a lot more confusing for raiders and might deter them. Of course, when doing this, don't forget to also honeycomb the roof. But fortunately with this design, again, we only really need to prioritize those two squares. Covering up this square over here and this square over here. Doing this and sealing these in is gonna make it a lot harder for a raider to get to anything of value. For one, having the two separate loot rooms like this is gonna make things a lot harder for a raider. They're not gonna know which one might be your TC, and that alone might dissuade them. But most of all, this prevents any splash damage from them really getting into more than one area at a time. That means that the raid cost for a base like this is gonna be significantly higher than, say, a 2x2 where they can splash into everything at once. 
While normally having separation like this is going to cost you, in this case, it just added security and doorways with, with a lot easy, with really easy to get to loot rooms and easy access to all of our boxes, furnaces, and repair benches. This base can be a dream for a solo. With plenty of room for research or repair benches, this can make it a lot easier for you to research or repair on the go without really having to worry about the space. Of course, if you guys like this base design, if you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Until next time, enjoy your wipe and peace out.